Hi, my name is Albert Dunford, and in this tutorial video, we are going to look at the new switch module blocks uh, that were added with piece in version 12. Uh, you can find these in power switches uh, switch modules or elements power switches uh, switch modules. And these are just common um, topology types that you can uh, use to uh, build a uh, power converter uh, quickly without having to draw out all of the individual components. So like the seven level inverter, you can uh, define the capacitors that you would need and you can monitor all of the individual voltage and current just that if you want to. Um, so it'd be a, it's a lot faster to build up a, a big seven level inverter like with, with these building blocks than with uh, going and building the individual switches directly. And you can see there's a library here with you know relatively common topologies that you can then uh, use as subsystems to build even bigger ones if you want to. Uh, for example, this um, one phase inverter, we could string these together to build up a big uh, multi-level inverter, uh, modular multi-level converter. Um, so those are there. Uh, another nice thing is this uh, three-phase inverter element. Um, this one is kind of unique, and I'll build up a quick simulation on this one. Okay, so this shows the voltage source inverter element. We've got uh, the same element here, but uh, what this is, is if you, if you go to the attributes, you can choose to just switch it to the average model if you want to. Um, or you can have it simulate the actual switching event. So this is really useful if you just want to like do control loop design or or things of that nature because you're not you don't necessarily need the switching to be simulated all the time. Uh, so controller design or other um, longer simulations will, can simulate a lot faster with uh, with the average model. So to switch to the average model, you would uh, go in here. You'd say average model. Uh, and we still, if there's a shunt resistance on the bottom half, you're still getting that mapped out. Um, and then you would take away all of the switching functionality. And then you're simply just connecting up uh, the modulation waveforms directly to the particular input there. And then you are uh, off to the races. And as you can see, this is a very fast simulation now because we're no longer constrained by uh, the switching time step interval. So uh, whereas this, we needed to make sure that we could resolve the switching frequency. Uh, now we don't need to worry about that anymore. And also the switching event is also computationally intensive. So by taking out the switching, we can have a, a very fast simulation. Uh, and you can use this as very particularly useful in things like motor drive simulations or other, other simulations where you need to deal with long simulation times. And the uh, switching may or may not be of interest at, uh, during those uh, simulations. So this voltage source inverter really helps uh, speed things up. Uh, and uh, that's it for this tutorial video. So uh, as a recap, um, there's all these uh, multi-level or there's all these switch module blocks that you can use to build up um, a particular uh, topology. And uh, these are also going to be the blocks that you would use if you're going to link with uh, the Typhoon Hills uh, uh, control panel. So you'll be able to export your piece schematic to Typhoon, and you'll be using these blocks as well to do that export. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial video. Thank you so much. Do check back for more tutorial videos.